Hello everybody, welcome back to another airport update for the Little Stariga Airport here in Riga, Latvia. I believe this is the fourth or fifth update uh, at this airport. Uh, but before we get into the update, I do have a trip announcement here. Uh, this is a very big trip and I wanted to wait to um, share it to you with the Riga Airport because I will be going to Riga. I'll be going to this airport um, and I'll be going to uh, Latvia specifically, but I will not only be going to Latvia, but also Hamburg in Germany, where I will see Miniature Wonderland and do plenty of videos there, and also the Airbus factory, which I will also try to make a video if they allow cameras. If not, then, well, then I can't do that. But a very exciting trip, and there will be definitely trip reports coming from it, um, at least for the, the moment. I don't know everything that we're going to be doing, but I will share the flights that we will be taking and the first of which being from MSP to Washington Dulles on United Express, UN-75. Yes, this is an UN-70, but pretty close. Uh, that'll be a Mesa UN-75, which we'll be flying to Washington Dulles. In Washington Dulles, we'll be connecting on to a Lufthansa 747-8i. Yes, this is a 747-400, but close enough. A 747-8i will be going to uh, Frankfurt, and from there we'll be getting an ICE to Hamburg, and uh, where we will be spending a few days, uh, three days there, and then from there we'll get on to an Air Baltic AG20 to Riga, and then on our way back we'll also be connecting to, through Frankfurt uh, on the Lufthansa 747 again. This time we'll be heading to Newark, where we're, uh, on our flight back to MSP we'll be flying on a United 737-900. So um, that'll be a very exciting trip. I'll share more details as, the, as it gets closer. Um, but those are the flights we'll be taking. Trip reports will be coming for probably every single flight on the trip. Um, I don't see any reason why not. I will probably do a different style though for the two uh, Lufthansa 747 flights because having the exact same trip report uh, for both of those would be a little bit boring. So. There'll be one that is like my normal trip report, which is like a text, um, uh, like a subtitled trip report. And then we'll do another one with like uh, brutally honest, simply aviation. Uh, they do great trip reports. I base my trip reports off of theirs, but we'll do a uh, uh, like a brutally honest type, I guess, uh, with narration over it. Uh, well, that'll be a very fun trip. That'll be, I'll be heading out on the 12th of July and returning on the 29th. So uh, stay tuned for a ton of videos on that trip. It will be very fun and uh, looking forward to it. So uh, I guess we'll get now get into the airport update here. Definitely one of the things that I want to do while well in uh, Latvia is to try to at least get uh, a better idea of some of these uh, hearts down gates over here and like to see the gate numbers and all of them because you can't really see them on uh, Google Earth. And so I can't put numbers for them, but uh, that'll be something I'm going to try to do while I am in Latvia, at the airport specifically. But now we'll get into the airport update here. Our first aircraft is the DHL 737-800. The extra aircraft is operated by Swift Air and is a 737-400. Uh, this one came in from Copenhagen and we'll be heading back out there on the turn. And here is the Transavia 737-800. This is the Sun Country Transavia Hybrid livery. Uh, but, I mean, the actual aircraft is just in the regular Transavia livery, of course. Um, this is one of the newer services here uh, to Riga. It's been here for a few months, but uh, still relatively new. Uh, this one came in from Amsterdam. You'll be heading uh, back out there. That is their one and only route. Maybe they'll add Paris at some point, but uh, Amsterdam, uh, looking very good for them here on the 737-800. Uh, speaking of new routes, um, or new services, new airlines, uh, Aegean Air, uh, Aegean Airlines has started service to Athens, Greece, on the A320 Neo and the A321 Neo, which is very cool. So I might get a model to represent them, but uh, not my top priority at the moment, but uh, maybe at some point in the future I will get an Aegean uh, A320 Neo, or, or I guess there has been an A320 Neo model made. Engine Models has made the A321 Neo, but I don't believe that has been, it's, it's like been announced, but it hasn't been like shipped out yet, I believe. That was one that got delayed. But that is a model that I will 
maybe pick up in the future at some point. But uh, in terms of this Transavia, 737-800, doing the turn from Amsterdam. And next here we have the Ryanair 737-800. This one came in from Cologne, Germany, and it will be heading back out there, another turnaround for this aircraft. And now we'll conclude our airport update with four straight Air Baltic aircraft, beginning with this Air Baltic AG-20-300 here in the newer livery. This one came in from Helsinki, and it will later be heading out to Budapest, Hungary. Very nice to see right here. Uh, this one is in their newer livery. Um, uh, technically, this uh, model is representing the uh, 100th AG-20 uh, aircraft, but um, the actual aircraft was just an irregular livery, but uh, this is still a uh, good representative of it, as you can see. There, it's not too much. On the other side, there's a sticker that says 100th Airbus AG-20, but um, it still functions as a regular livery, as you can see, and it looks very nice. And here's another Air, Air Baltic Airbus AG-20 300. This one in the older livery, pretty much the same thing, but slightly less green on this one, as you can see, uh, but it's still pretty much the same livery. Uh, this one came in from Baku, Azerbaijan, just pulled into its gate, and it will be heading out to uh, Barcelona later. And right up next here, we have the Air Baltic Fokker 50. This is obviously an older aircraft, and they don't play these anymore. And uh, that is reflective on this route, as it came in from Tallinn, Estonia, which would be realistic for uh, what this aircraft would fly back in the day. But it'll be heading out to Tivat, which is uh, not really, <laughs> it's like going across here up this, so... Yeah, not, not realistic for this aircraft to be flying to Tivat, um, but uh, that is just kind of what happens when you're replacing an, Airbol uh, an Airbus A220 with a Fokker 50, uh, since I only have four Air, Bal Air Baltic models and I want to include as many Air Baltic flights as possible. Um, just, you, sometimes you get not very realistic uh, route mashups here, but uh, still a very nice model here, uh, but uh, maybe... Hopefully we'll make it on fuel as it uh, crosses Europe, but um, still a nice model. I'm glad to include it in these Riga airport updates as always. And our final aircraft here is the Air Baltic Airbus AG-20-300 in the Latvia 100 years livery. Uh, this one arrived in from Tbilisi and is getting loaded up for its flight out to London Gatwick. And uh, that is our final aircraft for this update. So uh, that'll do it here for update number four or five. I keep forgetting. Um, I believe it's number five for uh, Riga. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this one. I'm excited to be going here in just over a month, really. Um, it'll be fun to visit here, see the sights and sounds of uh, Lido Esta Riga again. And... Um, Definitely expect some trip reports from this, from that trip. Uh, well, quite a few actually. Um, yeah, it'll be a fun time being in Latvia once again. Uh, if you'd like to check out some of my other trip reports, uh, since I went here last summer, um, those are still up on the channel. You'll have to scroll back a scroll back a ways. Um, but uh, excited to fly on Air Baltic again. I think they're a great airline, uh, and they definitely they definitely represent the Baltic states well. Uh, which is great to see. Maybe this year I'll be able to fly on a special livery. It does look like on my flight to Frankfurt, on our flight uh, re uh, returning home, our first leg from Riga to Frankfurt, that will be on one of Air Baltic's leased aircraft, uh, either for uh, high fly or a slash nice air or carpet air on an, on an A319. So it won't be like an actual Air Baltic uh, 8 to 20, which will be very interesting to see because I've never flown on an aircraft um, that's been leased like that. So that's very exciting. Everything uh, like flight connections, Google flights, they all seem to point that that will be happening. So that is going to be uh, very exciting to experience that. And uh, yeah, so very looking forward to that flight uh, in particular, even though it's not going to be an Air Baltic product. Uh, but uh, Air Baltic's product is still good, and hopefully Carpet Air or Nice Air, uh, whichever one it is, will deliver as well. But that'll do it for this update of Lidwesta Riga Airport here in Latvia, Riga, Latvia. And I will see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.